All right, so we have here. Can you lower it? We have here all the colors of the rainbow. This is a, uh, a prism, a piece of glass cut like a triangle, triangular shape. And we have here taking place, we have uh, white light is being uh, split into all the colors that are part of the white light. We have uh, red, and what's next? Yellow. Orange, yellow, yellow green. green, blue, blue. indigo, blue. and violet. Uh, we could say words like purple and the rest of it, but uh, we have a, a name. What's that name of a person? Who's the person that discovered the rainbow? Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Newton. He didn't discover the rainbow, but he had this with this. Uh, he named this a, a spectrum. He named this a spectrum. He took two prisms and he tried to separate tried to separate the colors to see if he could split it and he learned I, I don't know if everyone could see that he learned that here's blue here's purple these are what's called pure colors these are pure colors that he could take these colors and he could put them back together in the form of white light uh, over there on the board look on the overhead board you see that what color is that white so when you take one prism, you see in the shadow of the rainbow with my prism? All right, when you take one prism to separate the colors, it's all the beautiful colors of the rainbow that everybody adores so much. And then you take a second prism, you can take all these colors and you can shoot them back, back into, you can squish them all back into what color? White light. Let me see. Let me see. Put it on the Alright. Oh. Now, now we come with the lights. Oh. Oh. I can't see it. Oh. I can see. Oh. 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 Oh is uh, if you take light and you add it all together, red, green, and blue, then we'll get white light. This is the addition, and these are the primaries. Now the secondaries for the addition are yellow, cyan, and magenta. But when we subtract, when we subtract light, our primaries are magenta, cyan, and yellow, and our secondary subtractives are blue, uh, green, and red. And subtractive, we use for our pigments. Oh, see this in a we have green, blue, and red. Uh, blue and red make magenta, right? Uh, blue and green make cyan, this baby blue. And red and green, let's put red right down here. Red and uh, blue right here, good. Uh, red and green make yellow. So we got, all right, wait, wait. Stop we moving. <laughs> we have here uh, yellow, we have here, uh, Magenta over here, and we should have white in the middle. Uh, put them, put them together for a second, and I'll show you something. These combinations. Now, if I, if I stand in front of red, then we have uh, cyan. But if I come up here, so that red comes in here, we should have, uh, we should have a nice uh, cyan type color that's mixing with the other ones. Now, if I stand in front of, uh, if I get all three of these here. All right, now, now you ladies stay right where you are. Right here, this is magenta. Look at this beautiful purple in contrast. This is yellow. Can put the, keep the colors in the middle. This is yellow. And this is cyan, baby blue. So the shadow, this shadow, they have one hand, only one hand here, right? Just one, not two or three, but just one. And one hand, this shadow is from the um, red light. This shadow is from the blue light. And this shadow over here is from, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. This shadow over here is from the, from the green light. I should have gave you guys lasers. This is from the green light. This is still from the blue light. And this shadow Let's over pretend, here. let's pretend that this is yellow. And I'm gonna go like this. Here's yellow. And then I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna go baby blue or cyan. And then I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna color this in. I'm gonna shade it in. Then I'm going to take the last one, I'm going to take my, uh, my last one, it's going to be magenta. 
or hot pink. And then I'm going to shade it in. Just like we did before. Now, when you look at your color wheel, if you keep continue to shade it in, you continue to shade it in, you started with your yellow, your cyan, and your magenta, and you end up with, uh, in between yellow and uh, cyan, you have green, in between yellow and magenta, you get a red, in between magenta and cyan, you should get a dark blue, like we have over here, and in the middle, you should get black when all three of these colors mix, if you continue to uh, color it in. Next, this is how we make paints, paint mixtures. All right, this is how we make uh, prints. All right, if we go down to uh, Mr. Samaglia, down in the print shop downstairs, he'll show you how you create beautiful, colorful pictures by using these colors, magenta, yellow, and cyan, all right? By using these three colors, when you make a print, you'll get all the colors, all right? Three layers. If you guys take print shop, you can make posters down there. You see the posters out in the hallway. All right, we had a poster downstairs that had all the colors for the uh, light show last year, was based on colors called prismatic refractions. And all the colors were in the posters that they made, and he used magenta, yellow, and cyan to create these posters. Next. Uh, red filters transmit red light and absorb the other colors. All right, we have a red filter in front of us. They transmit red light, which means that red light goes through the filter and absorb all the colors such as blue and green. Give me a minute. Red objects reflect red light and absorb the rest. So when we look at the reflection of a red object like this, we see red. All right, if we transmit light through the object, then red light goes through. Here's a blue filter. Here's a red, blue, Ooh, where'd it go? Where's the laser? All right, here's red, here's blue. A red laser goes through the red. You see it's on my red right here? Goes through the red and not through the blue. Lasers do not go through, red lasers do not go through blue filters. Red lasers go through red filters, but not through blue filters. Red, blue, red, blue. I uh, use the red filters. Doesn't this look spectacular? I know, when it's blue, it's normal. It looks, it doesn't look anything when you use a red filter. Use the blue filters. Doesn't this look spectacular? Yeah, it looks like yeah. It's awesome. I see black. Ah. That is awesome. Now, this is where people see this. All right, this is blue, but when you look at it this way, you go, oh, okay, this is white. Yeah. And this is uh, red, and this is blue. This is how it would look, where the red isn't transmitted, the white turns blue, and the blue is still blue.